This is how it must be. The empire became this ugly, inelegant machine. Crude and inefficient. We needed to be broken into pieces. We needed to get rid of those who want to see that old machine churning ineluctably forward. It's time for something better. Something new. An empire worthy of the galaxy it will rule. Gallius Rax before any real progress could be made. Akiva was ultimately liberated after a new republic fleet arrived, forcing the Imperials to scatter once more and resulting in Akiva being the first outer rim planet to formally join the new republic. In reality, Imperial Fleet Admiral Gallius Rax, a warlord who controlled one of the larger fragments of the fallen empire. The man who became Gallius Rax was an orphan boy called, Galli, who had stowed aboard Palpatine's luxury yacht Imperialis roughly three decades before the end of the Galactic Civil War. Seeing potential in the boy, Palpatine tasked him with guarding an excavation site in the Valley of the Eremite which became the Jakku Observatory. After ten years of service, Palpatine inducted Rax into the Empire, using his power and influence to aid Rax's career advancement in the Imperial Navy. By 5 Abbey, Rax had attained the rank of Fleet Admiral. With the loss of Akiva and the Galactic Empire's territorial possessions rapidly shrinking, Rax became an official advisor to Grand Admiral Ray Sloan. While Sloan was the public leader of the Empire in the Vulpinus Nebula, its true ruler was Rax who controlled the fleet through Sloan. Additionally, Rax secretly commanded the Imperial Remnants in the Almagest, the Recluses Nebula, the Quiluhan Nebula, the Rolu Triangle, and the Inner Marata. As part of the contingency, Rax eliminated his Imperial rivals by leaking intelligence to the New Republic while posing as, the Operator. With Sloan's help, Rax engineered the downfall of the Imperial Future Council's emergency summit on Akiva. Roughly two months after Akiva fell to the New Republic, numerous systems left the Empire or waged their own resistance movements, declared their independence, and established their own fiefdoms or joined the New Republic. Criminal syndicates flourished in this atmosphere of conflict, especially the reptilian pirate Eliade Maracavania, who had captured the superstar destroyer Annihilator and used it to forge Zedatra's own criminal empire. Several moths and governors rebelled against the Empire as more people grew uncertain about what the Empire stood for. Agencies, personnel, and whole planetary systems started to drift apart, each adopting different tactics and methods for combating the New Republic, and each other.